42, the answer of the universe, isn't that right? Or the the answer to the question of the universe. What is it in that movie? I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. Welcome in. We got Team Wars Review for week 42. My name's Glanzer. Welcome in. This was a very interesting week. We had... Oh, that can go quiet. Uh, we had a kind of a strange deck. I don't... I wouldn't consider any of the... Can you guys hear the game? Yeah. I wouldn't consider any of the cards, like, that they paired together well, necessarily. <laughs> Everything was just kind of like... You can't... I mean, obviously, you could get good combinations with, like, Gunslinger and stuff like that, but... A, a nice gunslinger um, Warboy was fun, but uh, there's just a lot of stuff that's just kind of Like hook hand, Balf, just like stuff you don't really see all that often And can be good, can be bad. I tell you, my Balf really kicked some ass this week Ooh, the Inuit Brutal. That was just rough levels. That is the adventure lock. So we are in silver there, but we are, you know, we do have some lower levels. Although at this point, the adventure lock has pretty sweet setup. Like level five war boy, eh. Level two sexy nun here kind of hurt us, but it wasn't hard to just not play that card. If I played it, I would say that's a pretty big disadvantage. I like that. So t that's a typical response for me is to play the scout or play the assassin on the opposite side where they play a tank that's almost never a bad play also the s wow very good card i mean i like swashbuckler but what was the alternative for swashbuckler this week i can't imagine like based on the deck i'm looking at i can't imagine picking swashbuckler only over any of these cards it would either be Sexy Nun or Hook Hand, right? Because it's always the same. I guess it could be Imp Tweak. Hook Hand versus Swashbuckler. I guess I, I could see that being an argument. Hook Hand's just too potentially impactful. Like, Hook Hand could kill an Angel Wendy. Hook Hand could kill a Bebe or something like that. Get him, get him. Hey, we got the fart off. We rule. We rule. All right, we got Nico, anti-hero 420. No, anti-hero 42. Nico 316. What? <laughs> That's kind of funny. What up, BF Gamer? Welcome back. Jerome, welcome in, by the way. I don't think I said that earlier. Welcome in anybody on YouTube. Make sure you leave comments when you're here so I know who's hanging out. YouTube doesn't tell me who's watching, so I don't, need I don't know who's watching. I mean, a super... Yeah, I was going to say, like, a super fight could be interesting. Now, that right there could have been a bad play. I wouldn't have played it if the Inuit wasn't lower level. Because imagine he angel heals that. I basically just wasted that energy. I don't mind this. Just get rid of the angel. This is good. This is good. Pretty bad. Pretty bad hyperdrive there. No reason to use the Zen there, though, honestly. So that was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> The Chomper one-shotting the Mary Jane is the funniest thing ever. It is the funniest thing ever. How do I get all these taters, dude? I don't know. Sometimes it feels like they're all trash, and sometimes it feels like every match is sweaty. I don't know, it's weird. This week, though, I truly felt like I just really had to handle the deck. So it wouldn't really matter either way. We got a couple people that had decent levels. They were bad, but they had decent levels. But I had the s -Well levels, which is pretty hard to deal with, honestly. I feel really sexy. <coughs> not, not the tank that I would expect to play that against, but that works out. Ooh, missed me. Two shot him and then... Ca oh, that is just brutal. And then if we get... Oh, man, if, if Sexy Nun would have hit us there, that would have been crazy. So now we're just building build. So I was talking about this on stream the other day This is what kind of the meta used to look like Before DSR existed Before the towers with cock magic existed 
before Leanne existed, before all these cards existed that really dealt with pushes like this, usually what you did was you got Zen out with another tank and then you just built a death ball of healing behind it and you just couldn't, you couldn't deal with it. I love the gunslinger on the new kid. The value that you get from that plus 143 at the new kid's attack speed is just absolutely wild. Get another speed boost. I'm loving it. Like Trump working at McDonald's. I'm loving it. <laughs> we had a pretty good ratio of games that ended in a fart. So that's pretty cool. We got FOB. Wasn't DSR always in the game? No, sir. She was not. She was... Medusa wasn't even always in the game. Medusa was the first released ep a legend, I think. Sam was always there. Mecha was always there. Witch Doctor was always there. Hanky was always there. Wait, was Hanky always there? Yeah, I think Hanky was over there. Grand Wizard Cartman was always there. Ninju, I think, was always there. Yeah. I think there were two legends a piece that were always there. What was the sci fi one? Six Element Randy was always there. Yeah. Level six. Sexy nun, brutal. You gotta love this backline setup, though. I mean, I don't really. Is there anything that benefits from getting wonder tweaked like that? I guess you could push everybody in front of. You could push everybody in front of a man bear pig, and then the man bear pig could take them out. Wow, that level six survives new kid. That's pretty crazy. SWOW just hits so hard for being a tank with that amount of health. It's just kind of crazy. Cabaling. Six, six, six. Got the nice hat on him. Otherwise, he's suffering from alopecia, it seems. So this is what I was talking about. That's a good play by him, though. Basically counters that. We got the Zen though, and I misplayed this a bit. I should have played it where the Zen was gonna get knocked back into New Kid. I what for some reason I thought Zen didn't get knocked back by the Man Bear Pig, so that was a bit of a mistake. Cause eventually, that fat bastard is gonna hit my New Kid. I'm sure he meant to pull Zen there, right? But in reality, it wasn't a big deal. For my Zen, because he was going to end up hitting New Kid anyway. If that was a level 5 Man Bear Pig, we could have been in trouble. It might have been a mistake to play the little ass assassin. I don't know if... Do you, think six or do you think Sexy Nun's attack is better than the assassin? I don't know. I don't know. I like this, though. They can't really protect us, so no reason to use her ability. The assassin comes through. The other assassin comes through. Yeah, the level six little choir boys surviving the new kid blast in Team Wars is a surprisingly like little extra boost. Marcus, no, no. Easy breezy matches though this week. I don't like honestly. I don't think I had... This is a nice match from OG Killer. Honestly, I dismantle this guy. Like, I dismantle this guy. But honestly, I don't... There's not a whole lot of, like, things that I can articulate as, like, direct hints on, like, do's and don'ts this week. It's just like a... This week, you just gotta have a feel. You just gotta have a feel for it. It's, it's really hard to articulate, like, what's a good play, what's a bad play. You know what are good starts what are bad starts because honestly the the best thing i would say for a week like this is just wait for them to play a card and react to that because like eventually like this is the one thing you want to try to you want to keep energy so that if this happens you have a ton of energy to defend 
Because once you defend, it's probably game over. Like, once you kill their man bear pig in this situation, once man bear pig's down, it's game over. So watch this. War boy plus the gunslinger. Ba 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 How much health do you have? I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what your health is. I'm going to beat you like it's Sunday school. Beat me like it's Sunday school. I like it. We got the scout there. We're going to hit him with the gunslinger again. And the little guy gets the boost. Oh, that's brutal. Oof. Oof, duh. And then he gets one shot. Uh, doesn't even kill him, though. Your team is just leaving you out to dry, OG killer. Not even upgrading the Inuit. That's tough. That's tough. Gotta love that lava play, though. Lava, also a terrible choice. Everything went my way that game. is pretty sick. All right, we got six sniper from Asses of Fire. What up, Grumpy? Six snipey. You can use that yourself in the Twitch chat if you want, I think. It's in a channel. It's a channel point thing. This is just a slow play. Zen's a pretty good start in most cases. You could imp him away and then play scout and then he's kind of in a weird position. Like right there. <laughs> That's exactly what I was kind of thinking, but it would have had to have been more into the corner. Because I could defend mid if I wanted to. I just don't really need to. Because I'm debating right now whether or not to protect the Bebe. And when I saw the only level 4, I decided. If it was a level 5 tweak and sexy nun, I probably would have just let the Bebe die and then just defended it my new kid. And also, Marcus, you know, knowing when to use Marcus and when not to use Marcus is hard to, like, put into words. Because you can potentially get really good value from him, or you could potentially lose four value pretty quickly. He's a great card, though. I, I've always liked Marcus. Always liked him. Oh, we took him out. Smack him with that pillow. Drugs, 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 drugs. Yeah, Blood Elf's a lot of fun. Look at this. One shot the scout. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, he farted mid match. Let's go. I like that too. Oh, geez. It looked like that gunslinger like triple tapped me there. Did you see that? That gunslinger did so much damage so fast. All right, now we got Miss Me. Miss Member. What is this? Miss Em? Miss M82. That's probably it. It could be Miss Em, I guess. I don't know. But Marcus would be a good lead here. Scout's not bad either. Or not Scout. Zen's not bad either. Marcus now and trap him behind New Kid. That's elite level talent. But now that he played that, we can't do that. Now watch this. We don't want to do that. There we go. Get him. Oh no, you got a speed boost. You got a speed boost, but it didn't matter. Beautifully played. Beautifully played. Yeah, that's trouble. I love the Gunslinger Warboy plays, dude. They're so funny. <laughs> uh, sad. Sad. Now I don't think... Any of this would have really been that much different if those man bear pigs that were played were level five. Maybe that, that first one probably would have taken two bars, but that, that probably would have been it. Um, but you know, it's hard to know. Sometimes things can go crazy. The robo baby though, now that's interesting. Oh, he pulls the Zen, which is hilarious. Jeez. We had a weird lag there. So this guy either has left or... No, he hasn't left. It was just weird, odd lag on when new kid is getting hit. I didn't notice that. Nice chomper. Can we protect her? Nice. Nice. Oh, that's not even fair. That's not even fair, honestly. I got that bowler guy clip. Hell yeah, dude. If you go to your bucket thing, you can find it and it costs 300 buckets. Who do you think you are? I am. 
<clears throat> All right, got Dry Thunder seven five eight two one. What a great name, Dry Thunder. I'm gonna bring some Dry Thunder to your mama later. <laughs> Marcus v Marcus, but mine's level six. Now here's a level four Man Bear Pig. Played. I don't know, like, why do people think just playing Man Bear Pig mid is gonna work? I. I guess maybe if I just have an absolutely dog shit hand, maybe it'll work. I guess. Fuck it right in the pussy. Like if he could remove my S wow right there, that could be dangerous. That if he if he would have coupled that with the gunslinger, maybe that could have been interesting, but just not enough value for I have a hair that must be on my glasses or like Hanging from my eyebrow or something. I can just keep feeling it. Oh, I want to imp tweak something away. I want to imp tweak something cool away. Go and get... Okay, look at... What happened to that attack right there? Plus two? What is... Like, what is that? Hold on, let's go back. It's not like I had negative attack. Why did I get plus two attack? What? What does that mean? I think and it looks like I didn't have the boost, I think. The lava slowed me and stopped. I don't know, that was weird. I guess I had some Legos in my in my shoes still. Okay, that was a good play then cuz he was trying to just steal a bar real quick. Can we keep the belf alive? Can we do it? Dude, that Warboy just went psycho right there, dude. Warboy definitely like double shot. Warboy. Got him. I love it when Belf kills the new kid and what do you gets mean? the boost from what do you, the kid. What do you mean? I think I've <laughs> always thought that's so funny. <laughs> she should get a boost from every bar. That'd be interesting. Zen lead here. You could super fart. If he doesn't play anything else, but... The rats were bouncing all over the board. I've seen some crazy stuff like that before. We've had we've had gizmos up in the like where the school is up there, just cloning each other over and over again. <laughs> they were immortal too. Weird. I think imp tweaking the gunslinger there isn't terrible. We're getting good value on that Marcus though. All right, we decided to see like this right here. What made me decide to give up the midline basically and just reset? Oh, look at that. We brought, look at that. We basically tweaked two units right there, dude. Skill, baby, skill. Skill. Tweak v tweak violence. Gross, he's probably into it though. The tweak hits new kid. Also, if you're wondering how much damage S Wow Titty Bang does to new kid and surrounding units when she does her little charge, it is one third of her attack. Figured that out from the free to play folks last night. Can Angel keep her alive? Mind you, this is a level three S Wow that's just out there decking folks. Level three, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. He's just she's just too good. All right, now we got Aiden is Aiden is undead. That's what it is. We got the S Wow. This is the adventure lock. Um, Scout could be a good response to whatever he plays. Um, pretty much the only thing. I like that. I like that. Takes a bar if he's not smart. Alright, he played something. Alright, that's, that's decent. That's decent. We got Titty Bang here, though. Alright, I like that. Try to get a good cycle before the Titty Bang, but now we're probably forced to play the Titty Bang. I like it. Marcus doesn't do all that much damage. Belf can potentially get extra, too. Oh, but no, the Belf basically sacrificed. Sacrificed to the greater good. 
We screwed that up a bit though. The gunslinger. We didn't want the gunslinger to die, so we super farted him away. And now he still almost dies though. Gunslinger barely surviving there. That was scary. That was scary. The warboy plus the gunslinger paired together once again. Nicely done. Helps to circumvent our poor levels a little bit. The poor guy doesn't know what to do. Oh my god, if I keep the gunslinger alive because this dummy pushed. Oh no, he retargeted. He retarded. Whoop. Take the bar. Oh, the Inuit didn't get hit. Come on, Inuit hit the baby and then die to something else. Yes, kill the baby. Oh, even though the Inuit Suck killed it. him. And then the hook hand kills the angel. He wiped his board. Oh, no. The preemptive fart. Is that going to come back to haunt us? We absolutely wiped his board. I like this. I'm liking this. What's he got? What's he got? Oh, that's a good play. Ah, oh, look no. at the man bear pig! <laughs> look at the man bear pig! <laughs> he looks like the Australian breakdancer. <laughs> oh, when I saw that happen, I was laughing in the moment. <laughs> We got Ragnar Lodbrok. Ragnar! Okay, so if you saw this, you see how we were late coming into this one? We didn't have the team. I had no idea what team this guy was on. Um, I have no idea what team this guy was on. So I was thinking, oh crap, did I maybe see Black Lotus or something? Like, is this, and then the name kind of looked familiar. I was like, is this, is this guy in the fam and we got a draw? Um, so I was waiting. That's why I waited so long because I just needed to see him play a card. And I was like, all right, all bets are off, homie. All bets are off. Now, even though Marcus may not be the best start, I like to play mirror to what they play and then just outplay them from there. I think that's I think that's fun. That's a fun thing that I do. But I like this. The Inuit. Inuit would have been nicer there, I think. But I, I like that. I like that. Lava doesn't help at all. Okay, I'm liking this. Now, this is just an unfortunate, like, like, the Marcus is alive because my Marcus is still going for his, my Marcus is still going for his Zen and it's just like an unfortunate setup. So that sucks, but now it looks like we're back in position. We're just going to bring her over here. Interesting though, brought him into the range. Uh oh, this is interesting. Our Zen is still alive though, but that angel, we can't seem to break through. Now it's gonna be Sexy Nun versus Mary Jane. Who's gonna win? Who's better? Play in the bottom side, take out that angel, prevent that heal. We got it out before the, the taunt. This is tough, this is tough. There that guy goes. I'm liking this, we need the extra damage. We need the extra damage. Warboy all alone hits the new kid before they get hit. Beautiful. Beautifully timed. Oh, he's hitting the Belf instead. Uh-oh. Angel is going to be able to heal him right up. Bloop. That Belf is stacked. She got quite a few kills. Perfectly timed Inuit. Doesn't get hit. And bring him home. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's brutal. You took out old dirty grandpa. Thought it would be a tough one, but no. That happens to me all the time where I see somebody, I was like, ooh, I know this Suck guy's it. name. This should be a good one. And then either his team pick terrible, he doesn't have good levels, or he just plays like a like a toddler. Crazy. Good match though. Good match. A lot of fun. So this is a classic. I call this the Glanzer, honestly. This is like the Glanzer. Like if this was a if this was chess. And this was like an opening move. This would that would be named after me. The Glanzer Team Wars Assassin Strat. Interesting. The scout goes backwards and stops getting hit by New Kid, but then starts getting hit by Marcus. Still interesting. Can New Kid start hitting? Yes, that's nice. But then Zen's gonna start moving forward. No, but he's not gonna move. So New Kid's still helping us out here. We have terrible setup here, though. We need the S-Wow if possible. That would be nice. 
it. He's got a good setup here. We are in trouble. Maybe... Okay, I like the tweak here. I honestly don't mind the tweak there. New kid bringing all the damage. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done that with the ability. I should have just let him keep attacking because he had the gunslinger boost. I'm liking this. Take him out. Why didn't he use the zen charge? I don't know. If he would have zen charged there, it would have been a bit different. I think I still would have dealt with it, but my Inuit would have at least been dead in the exchange. Oh, tweak. Tweak, get there. Hit him one. Oh, he didn't have the boost anymore. He didn't have the boost anymore. I think they'll take this without any help. Nice. Nice. Just knowing damage is good. Get him right when he's about to attack. So he goes blue. Uh, almost stole it with the belf there. Almost had the perfect timing. Smack. Smack. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Marcus comes in and takes the bar right after the belf takes it. Knocks us back. He's going to take a bar from the Marcus, which is just fine. You kind of expect to lose one bar, potentially. Kind of like with cows. You kind of expect to at least lose one bar over the course of a match when Marcus is an option. But typically, if that happens, you probably took three because... Why did they Marcus you four times? Poop! You know what? Marcus does, I think, 175 damage exactly at level five. So that was an exact win right there. That's funny. Might be 179. Fact check me there. I'm liking this. I'm liking this setup. We got the SWOW to start. We got the scout to react, Inuit to react. Pretty good setup. Uh, probably lead the SWOW here wouldn't be bad, but the Belf would be good too. Little ballsy here. I don't mind it though, cause it's a lower level. A lower level angel. All right, we took the angel out either way. <clears throat> I was hoping for him to overreact there, honestly. Now we got a level five Belf versus our Belf, but he gets something in front. He's in good shape. Oh, he kills us is enough. Oh, it is enough. The Belf survives the level one Inuit. That is very interesting. That was a potentially bad play. That scout could have gotten sniped right there. But scout does his job. Oh my lord. Jeez. <laughs> Scout's so good, dude. If you're under leveled against scout, dude, you're gonna just get smacked up. Just smacked up. I remember I was practicing against somebody back when I didn't have level seven scout and they did have level seven scout. And it was that one difference was such a big difference because when two even level scouts no, hit each other, they don't God. quite kill each other. But when, no, so like, God, please, you can no, basically no. trade it. But no. when one doesn't no. die, then it doesn't even take a hit because this other scout's gonna hit him first. So it's it's such a big difference that it's it can impact, like a, in a close match, it'll impact every single match. Unless you can somehow avoid that interaction, which could be tough. Now this is what I was talking about though. How come people aren't playing it? Ooh, he got that though. That's not bad. How come people weren't playing it? Um, playing it on defense and getting good position with the manberry pick. So now check this out. Because of earlier, I knew that the Belf survives this and doesn't die. So now we keep the Belf alive to keep that DPS up. That was just smart living. And then with the intention, well, hey, shortly after that, I'm just gonna angel and bring that. Damn it! I did everything to save you! You gotta hate it when a good play goes wrong. But we did good on the damage to the man bear pig. So we did take him out without much trouble. That was level four man bear pig. Can be trouble. Can be trouble, but not if you're a goat, baby. Goat! No man bear pig. No bell. Oh no, we just played... What do those guys do? Oh, it was the it was it was the plant. I was like, what are those choir boys doing? Black Star, boom, boom, boom. Or not Black Star, sorry, that's Black Fred Savage. What's up, bud? Alright, there we go. That's it! That's week 42. I was a little sad that I didn't get any like really good matchups. Um we had a couple 
that we had to play ourselves out of a bad rotation. But honestly, I felt that deck was just so much fun because I think I really excel at the weeks where there's not like a definitive like this is like the one combo that wins the game kind of thing. Like getting cows to work is the one thing sometimes or getting BHK boosts on something or whatever, like stuff like that. Or uh, poisoning the drow is a huge is a huge thing one week, stuff like that. This week, there wasn't any, like, singular thing that you could say, really, about anything. Like, you could say what imp targets were. You could say, um, you know, like, when to play Zen, when not to play Zen. And you could say, like... I mean, the other stuff is just, like, knowing how to play the game. Like, knowing when to use the Randy ability, when not to use the ability. Knowing when to use... S wow or not use S wow stuff like that. What's up, coach? What up, coach Casey? Um, but yeah, gotta be you gotta change it to father Casey. People think you're a minister then though. <laughs> but it can't be daddy. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. For the Team Wars review, week 42, we're gonna continue with some South Park quick pack, so stick around. But if you're watching on YouTube in the future, make sure you like the video, comment your favorite match, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.